What is up, folks? Good to be making videos again. I've been really busy over the last uh, month or so. Started this new job. And this job just so happens to be right down the street from Go Power Sports. That doesn't do good for me at all. So I've been working on go-karts over the last couple weeks. Got my son a couple go-karts. And I purchased myself a, a, a Track Magic um, Trek cart, for say. Um, the way this particular cart is set up, the engine is really close to the, to the seat, which obviously gets uh, pretty warm on your shoulder with this factory exhaust. So that brings me to looking into uh, Go Power Sports' three-stage header. So I ran over there to pick that, uh, pick that thing up today, pick this thing up today. Uh, picked up a couple other parts for some of the other carts. And let me tell you, man, those guys are, uh, they're a bang up outfit. They're always uh, very hospitable, always very eager to help you and advise you. Me, I don't know everything about these particular carts as of right now, so they're always there giving me information on any questions I have. So without further ado, let's get cranking on this. First and foremost, I'm gonna start it up let you hear it in its stock form on this engine. This engine, um, I don't know a lot about it. It's, it's, it's a built engine from Total Concepts up in Oklahoma. Um, it's what they call a Chonda racing engine. It's got a billet flywheel, so on and so forth. So let's get it started up, hear how it sounds. Put this tune pipe on. There is two bolts holding this pipe on right here. Let me scooch y'all around to show y'all exactly how close this muffler was. Fit nice. So now let's look at the space that we gained between the seat and the pipe. And considering that it's not gonna be, the heat is not gonna be just held there in that box, that should be a tremendous help. But just in case, we are going to slide this exhaust stop, sock on there. We've got this little guy here from Go Power Sports also. It's about 16 bucks. 
give or take. So, start at the end. Let's see if this sock does what this sock is supposed to do. With the addition of the new header and the header sock, my problem is solved. Sitting in the seat, uh, there's very, very little heat um, I can feel on my shoulder anymore. I believe that when I'm actually driving the cart around, I will probably actually feel less of that stagnant heat that's just sitting there resonating off of the pipe. But as for previously, this seat would physically get hot to the touch, and I don't know if you can tell in the video, you could actually see a little bit of slight discoloration in this seat, and that was from that heat transfer. So I highly recommend the pipe and the sock if you have an application like this. Like and subscribe, and I honestly appreciate you guys watching my videos. Thank you so much.